Hello everyone, Seth Stewart here from Brookstone Financial. The recent market downturn has been tough on all of us, and I know it's difficult to see, it's difficult to stomach. The first three quarters of 2020 have been brutal. But let's talk about opportunities to, to turn lemons into lemonade. How can we take advantage of the recent market downturn? Simply put, Roth conversion. Now, Roth conversion is the concept of paying taxes on some of your money now versus deferring those taxes until later on down the road. Now, some of you may be thinking, wait a minute, Seth, I cannot convert to Roth because I'm no longer working. It's important to point out there's two sets of rules regarding Roths. There are Roth contribution rules and then there are Roth conversion rules. Now the Roth contribution rules state that you have to have earned income. There are annual contribution limits and there may also be income phase outs, meaning if you earn too much money, you're not eligible to contribute. But what we're talking about today is a Roth conversion. Simply choosing to pay the taxes now versus later on existing pre-tax dollars. That could be IRA, or 401k or even 403b monies. And the rules of Roth conversions are very simple. You just have to pay the taxes now versus later, and it's based upon the account value on the date of the conversion, and that's a very important point. Now, there's also a very unique window of opportunity outside of the recent market downturn. The recent window of opportunity that's been created has been created due to the tax cuts over the past couple of years, the standard deduction nearly doubling, and these are set to expire in 2025, so the clock is ticking. Let me give you a quick real-world example. Let's say we are sitting down with someone whose taxable income after their standard deduction is roughly $60,000. Well, what we know for 2022 anyways, is that the top of the 12% federal tax bracket is $83,550. So if their taxable income comes in at 60, what we might consider doing is going ahead and converting 20,000 to Roth, simply maxing out the tax bracket that they're already in. How can you lose in this strategy? Well, there's two scenarios. One is taxes go down in the future. With $30 trillion of debt, national debt, how likely do you think that is? Or number two, you're in a lower tax bracket in retirement. And I think this is what we've been lulled into thinking is going to be the case when we retire. And folks, I've been doing this long enough to know that this is not always the case. You're not always in a lower tax bracket when you retire. So how does this recent market downturn play into the opportunity for a Roth conversion? Well, let's look at the downturn. So the downturn really started in January, around the first of the year, 2022. The market took a steep decline over the first three quarters. In this example, let's assume we had ABC stock and prior to the downturn, it was worth $10 a share. Now it's off 50% and down here it's worth $5 a share. Remember a statement I made earlier. The taxes paid on a Roth conversion are based upon the value of the account when you convert. So if we take advantage of this opportunity, when the stock prices are down, this could be mutual funds, it could be bonds, we're actually converting here while values are down. Then when we do see that market recovery in the future, that is a tax-free recovery. Folks, we are here to help. If you have any questions or concerns related to the recent market volatility or how to make lemonade out of lemons, please give us a call. It's 812-288-9000 or visit us online at brookstonefinancial.com.